As we've been hearing, the Christchurch area did experience an earthquake last September that was stronger than today's and didn't cause the same level of destruction. Late today, I spoke to senior seismologist with Geoscience Australia, Clive Collins, for his assessment of what occurred. Clive Collins, can you take us through exactly what occurred to create these terrible scenes of destruction? Well, today uh, we had a magnitude uh, 6.3 uh, very close to Christchurch, and that was the problem. Uh, unlike the, the other one, which was about 40 kilometres west, this was uh, just uh, east of the city. It was very shallow, and uh, it um, obviously had much b bigger effect because of its uh, location. Uh, also, after all, the, uh, the main event last year and the aftershocks that have been going since then, perhaps some of the structures were a bit compromised and uh, this has just exacerbated the situation. Can you see more aftershocks on the way? Uh, undoubtedly there will be more aftershocks. We always get aftershocks after these. We've had a number already. The largest one I think was about 5.5, um, about an hour after the main one. Um, if it's like the one last year, we'll certainly see uh, a long string of them. Yes. So it's not all over for Christchurch yet? No, I wouldn't imagine so. No, they've, they've been getting aftershocks from the September one, and um, this might just set up another train of them. Perhaps not as big, though. Uh, we, we expect it'll perhaps not, not be quite so significant. Why is it, apart from the buildings being weaker, why is it that so many buildings have collapsed when the earthquake last September was in fact stronger than this one? Um, basically because the shaking was greater. Uh, the location of the earthquake was uh, such that um, it affected the city quite a lot uh, more than uh, the one that was further away. It was much bigger, but it was a lot further away. There may be some particular things about this earthquake. Uh, the energy was directed uh, in a, some peculiar way, might have uh, caused more damage as well. Uh, also, Christchurch has a bit of a problem with uh, liquefaction. That's where the ground uh, tends to uh, liquefy if there's sand and water and that um, can um, uh, destroy foundations and um, uh, it, it's a combination of things like that I think. What is the long-term future for the city then? Oh I imagine uh, you know long-term cities are built on, on large uh, faults uh, all around the world there's some cities which have got very very major faults on them and had much larger earthquakes and uh, the cities are built to withstand them. The infrastructure is in, the, in place to, uh, to deal with earthquakes like that. So I guess in time, um, I'm sure the New Zealand buildings are built to earthquake standards. I mean, they've, they've had plenty of earthquakes there. But uh, every earthquake's a new lesson, and uh, perhaps there'll be some from this. Clive Collins, thank you very much for joining us tonight and giving us that assessment. Thank you.